Hi there, I hope you are doing fine. This is Mr. Philip Kauma, the excellent biology tutor. In this video, I am answering a genetics question coming from a past paper, which is a 2016 paper 2, which was written in July in Yama GCE. Yeah, so without wasting much of your time, let us begin. So table 5.0 below shows a cross between a brown male pig labeled pig B with two female pigs, a brown female pig and a white female pig. Okay, so we've got a situation here. We've got a brown male pig which is crossing with a brown female pig and a white female pig. The table is showing us the results after that crossing. So as you can see, we've got pig which are labeled B, A and C. Those are the pigs. And then I've got phenotype, we've got a brown male, um, brown male, which is labeled as pig B. Then we've got a brown female, which is labeled as pig A. Then we've got a white female, which is labeled as pig C. So when these pigs were crossed, when the brown male pig was crossed with a brown female pig and a white female pig, those were the number of the offsprings. So under brown male uh, pig, we've got new, new, okay, then under brown female pig labeled pig a we've got four white offsprings 12 brown offsprings and then under white female pig which is labeled pig c we've got eight white offsprings and eight brown offsprings that is the table which we have okay so what is our first question question a explain why pig b had no offspring why is it that this brown male pig, Yenzeli Bevan, as you can see on the table, we've got new, new, okay? Now, explain the reason. Why is it that the brown male pig had no offspring? What is the answer to this question? Simple. Because pig B is a male, there is no way a male can have, you know, offsprings. That's not possible. A male cannot produce offsprings. It cannot, the offsprings cannot come out from the male. They come out from the what? From the female. So the, the pig, pig B is a male. That's the reason why it didn't have offsprings. It didn't produce any offsprings when it was crossed with these two pigs. Because pig B is simply a male. That is the answer to question A. All right, let us quickly move on to question B. From the results in table 5.0, and using the symbol B for dominant allele and small letter B for recessive allele, I identify the recessive phenotype of the skin color of the pigs. Now, they are simply asking us which color between white and brown is dominant in this situation. It's easy for you to find the answer to this question. What you can just do is you add the number of offsprings that had brown then add the number of offsprings that had white and compare the to which one, which, which, which color had more offsprings. Are you following? So if you add 12 plus 8, then you add 4 plus 8. What is going to be the answer? So 12 plus 8 is simply going to give us, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to give us 20, if I'm not mistaken. So we had 20 brown offsprings in total. And then we had... 12 white offsprings in total. What does that tell you? What does that mean? We had 20 brown offsprings. We had 12 white offsprings. Well, that tells us to say brown was dominant over white. That is why we had more brown offsprings than white. Because brown was what? Dominant. So it was expressed in most of the uh, phenotypes of the offsprings. So that's the answer. So if you now if we go back to the question from the results in table 5.0 and using the symbol B for dominant allele, okay? Symbol B for dominant allele and small letter B for recessive allele, I identify the recessive phenotype of the skin color of the pigs. So they're not asking us for a dominant uh, phenotype but they are asking us for a recessive phenotype of the skin color of the pigs. And now, since we've, we are from finding out that brown is dominant, then that means white is recessive. So, white is the recessive color. They are asking us to, to do what? To identify the recessive phenotype, meaning the outward color, which is recessive. So, white is the recessive 
color in this case okay because brown is dominant why are we saying brown is dominant we had more offsprings that were brown than white so obviously white is recessive and brown is dominant hope you are enjoying the video so far if you are enjoying the video please like this video and if you haven't yet subscribed to my youtube channel please do so i will really really appreciate all right let us move on to question c suggest the genotypes of pigs a and c what is the genotype of pig a what is the genotype of pig c now here are the answers the genotype for pig a it is capital letter b small letter b and the genotype for pig c is small letter b small letter b now let me explain why i am saying these are the genotypes if you look at the brown female pig which is labeled as pig a it had white offsprings as well as brown offsprings it had four white offsprings 12 brown offsprings now what does that what does this tell you since it had white offsprings then it it's true that it had an allele for white now since it had 12 brown offsprings again it is true that it had an allele for brown so this pig had both an allele for brown and an allele for white why are we saying it had an allele for brown and for white because if you look at the offsprings it had brown offsprings and white offsprings so that means this pig had an allele for brown it also had an allele for white now because we said brown is dominant then we're going to have capital letter b and white is recessive then we're going to have small letter b giving us a heterozygous type of genotype which is capital letter b and small letter b as you can see so heterozygous type of genotype is a genotype where one allele is dominant and the other allele is recessive so brown is dominant and it is it is represented by a capital letter b then white is recessive and it is represented by a small letter b remember from the language of genetics dominant alleles are represented by capital letters recessive alleles are represented by small letters don't forget that don't forget so that is why i have concluded to say the genotype for pig a it is capital letter b small letter b now if we look at uh, pig c pig c is a white female and we said white is recessive so there is no way that this white female pig can have an allele for brown because if it has an allele for brown then it won't be white it can only be white if it had it if it has two alleles that are for white because white is recessive and if white is found in the presence of a brown allele then it won't be white it will be brown so since white is recessive we are going to have two alleles for white that are recessive so that is why we have concluded to say those are the genotypes for white now if we had a capital letter b was it going to be a, a white female no it wasn't going to be a white female and because we already know the allele for white the allele for white is small letter b why are we saying small letter b because white is recessive and recessive alleles are written using small letters so the genotype for pig c will be small letter b small letter b because it's white and white is recessive all right all right my excellent biology students if you have questions please comment your questions comment your questions and i'll get back to you let us look at our final question which is question d using a genetic diagram show the results of crossing pig b with pig c now do we know the genotype for pig b we don't let us find out the genotype for pig b if you look at pig b pig b is a brown male and this brown male had offsprings with the brown female isn't it 
both the uh, the the male and the female are brown brown male crossing with brown female and they had four white offsprings 12 brown offsprings right now since it was possible for a brown male and a brown female to have four white offsprings that simply means both the brown male and the brown female had an allele for white are you following so that simply means this brown male also has an allele for white okay but in in the brown male it is recessive okay because brown is what we're seeing on the outside so this brown male had an allele for white but it is recessive okay so what can be our genotype for the brown male then our genotype is going to be capital letter b and small letter b why have we concluded to say that's the genotype there are two reasons the first reason is it is brown so it is going to have capital letter b which represents brown which is dominant and then since it had four white offsprings with a brown female that simply means even this brown male had an allele for white so we're going to have small letter b representing white that is the re those are the two reasons why i am saying the genotype for the brown male it is capital letter b and small letter b okay so let me quickly give a demonstration to simply emphasize on my reasons so if you look at this brown uh, male uh, this brown male pig i'm saying the genotype it's capital letter b right and small letter b this is true because if you cross capital letter b and small letter b with capital letter, because this is the genotype for the brown female isn't it we said this is the genotype if you look at question c pig a the genotype for the brown male pig which is labeled as pig a it is capital letter b small letter b when these two cross then we're going to have a possibility of having a white offspring are you seeing but if the genotype for the brown male pig was capital letter b capital letter b then it wasn't going to be possible because here we're going to have capital letter b small letter b which is giving us brown you see so there's no way that this brown male pig can have a white offspring if it crosses with these two pigs so it is only possible for it to have a white offspring if it also has an allele for white that is why i am saying that this brown male pig had an allele for white therefore the genotype for the brown male pig it's capital letter b small letter b so this is how you should be reasoning with yourself as you are answering questions in an exam so now what would be the uh, genetic diagram because the question is saying the question question D is asking us using a genetic diagram show the results of crossing pig b with pig c so we've got pig b which is a brown male and pig c which is a white female so what is the genetic diagram let's look at the answer so check the diagram below this is our genetic diagram so let me run you through this genetic diagram when you're writing when you're drawing a genetic diagram you first start by writing the parent phenotype as you can see so we first have parent phenotype okay and the parent phenotype we have is brown male because phenotype it's what we are seeing on the outside so we've got a brown male crossing with what with a white female so when you look at these two pigs one is brown which is a male and the other one is white which is a female that's the phenotype that's what we're seeing on the outside and then after you write the parent phenotype excuse me you now write the parent genotype so the genotype for the brown male we said it's capital letter b small letter b that's the genotype and that's what we have there and then the genotype for the white female we already discovered it under question c we said small letter b small letter b isn't it that's the genotype which we have even there so after you write the parent genotype you now write the gametes of which you just bring the letters down put them into masecos to just create some space for crossing okay that's what you do you just write the gametes gametes are written by just bringing down the the letters then you put them in circles as you can see in the diagram after that you do the crossing you have to be very careful with the crossing as you can see 
the first B, it is crossing with the first B for the other parent. And then the same B, which is for the first parent, it is crossing with the second B for the uh, second uh, for the second parent. Then you move on to the second B for the first parent. The, uh, the second B for the first parent will cross with the first B for the second parent. Sorry, the second uh, the second B for the first parent will cross with the first B for the second parent. The same B for the first parent it will cross with the second B for the second parent. As you can see, you just cross them just like you are seeing. So yeah, after you are done with the crossing, what you are going to have is offspring genotype of which when capital letter B crosses with small letter B, we're going to have capital letter B, small letter B. You always, always start with the uh, dominant allele. And then the same B, it's crossing with another B. We're going to have those results as you can see. After that, we have offspring phenotype so when it comes to the offspring phenotype you're simply going to state the, the colors of the offsprings so as you can see there we've got brown brown white white those are the colors for the offsprings those are the colors for the offsprings all right my excellent biology students those are the answers to this question 2016 paper 2 for july you can go through it Watch this video again, you know, until you understand if you didn't understand. If I told you've got questions, please comment them in the comment section. I'll get back to them. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure that you do so. This has been Mr. Philip Kauma, the excellent biology tutor. See you next uh, in the, in the, as we are answering the next question, which is a 2017 paper 2. Stay blessed.